Okay, welcome back, dear friends. Today, I'd like to go on our series of one hop. The virtual machine would be this dripping blues one. I will put the link of this virtual machine into the description section below so that you can download this image. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's get started. To save time, I have already imported this virtual machine into the virtual box. So now I'd like to go into the kernel Linux. And uh, as you can see over here, I have already identified the virtual machine. The IP address of this virtual machine as 254. And I also, uh, just seven minutes ago, I did the map scanning. I did the scene scan, the version scan, script scan, and also did the comprehensive scan by specifying the option of dash p dash. As you can see, there are several open ports on the target. The first one is 21, and also the version information of the FTP surface. As we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability we can exploit. The second one is 22, which runs SSH. Again, the version information about this surface is displayed over here. And also we know this version doesn't have any vulnerability. And next one is 80, which runs HTTP surface. Of course, now we need to do some uh, emulation uh, for each of the open ports uh, except the 22. Let's open up another working, uh, 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 open up a new tab and go to our working directory. And now let's uh, log in to the FTP. Anonymous. And uh, password blank. And now we log in, and here is one file. We can download this file onto our Kali Linux. Excuse me. And now let's quit. And we can uncompress or decompress this file, like unzip, respect. But it's protected by password, OK? We can convert this file to the to the hash by zip to jump to, and we can respect to the hash, and then we can use John the Reaper to crack the password. Okay, very quick. We have already got the password for this file, and then we can unzip or de decompress. Uh, this file on zip. Let's make a copy of this password because we I don't want to type in every letter. Okay, we successfully extract the files inside this zip file. And now let's list the content and let's cut the content just to focus on drip. But at this point, we don't we don't know what this means, okay? And we but uh, another extract file is secretly script zip, and also we need to unzip uh, this file. Secret again, it's password protected, and uh, similarly we can use the zip to jump secret. Seek, redirect, leak, secret, hash. Okay, and then we can use the John the Reaper again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, but it failed. Okay, so I think now we need to stop at this point. We, If you make efforts to try to crack this secret zip file, you will fail. You will get a lot of uh, failure, okay? 
So I think now it's time to emulate the AT port. Let's open up our browser. And maybe we can open up a private window. Okay, here, some information. Drifting Blues is hacked again. So it's now called Dripping Blues. Ha ha ha. By uh, this, I think this should be user name. We need to make a note of these two user names. Possibly, right? And we can make note of this information in case we want later. Okay, and uh, now uh, we maybe we can try to see whether this target or this site has robot file. Yeah, the the two files and the first one we can make a copy and uh, paste in here. Oh, hello, a uh, dear hacker. Wanna be go for this lyrics or poet and count the n words and put them side by side, then do the MD5 like this one. But I can tell you, I tried this. You, you, you can visit or access this uh, resource and uh, and use this command to 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 calculate MD5. But th I think this is the some sort of a rapid hole. And uh, now we need to uh, move on to the next file. Yeah, this one. And I also I I like to tell you I did the directory emulation with the GoBuster uh, something like that, but uh, I didn't get I didn't get any useful information. And we can try to visit this file, but not found. But uh, as you can see, this a bit looks like a bit. Uh, this is not normal, right? This, I think, looks like uh, some sort of local file inclusion. And uh, so we need to pass the parameter. And But how to get the parameter name? We need to make a fuzzing to get the parameter name and then pass it, pass it into this file. And maybe we can get the content, sorry. And... Uh, Okay, it's okay. And uh, now we can make a copy this file and we can use the two uh, WFZ WFUZ. I, I don't I don't know how to pronounce it and uh, specify the URL and uh, IP address. And uh, we need to fuzz the parameter. And uh, and uh, specify the word list. The buster. I always use this word word list as the first one. And uh, the buster directory. Okay, I think I configured this command properly. Let's hit enter. Oh wow, those the lot of outputs, but uh, most of them are useless or or rubbish. We need to filter uh, the information or filter the output. We can run this command again and specify the H HW option, and the NINS is twenty one. And let's hit enter again. And uh, this will take some time to finish. So I'd like to, because I don't want the video to be so long, so I will pause the video. And when it's done, I'll come back to you. Okay, I'll come back. As you can see, uh, we have already identified the parameter name, the trip. I think this one is the wrong one. And uh, also, I think you can remember uh, the author has already given us one a hint. We should uh, do you remember that we should focus focus on the trip. Anyway, we have already 
emulated out the param parameter name, which is a drip. And we can visit this file. And we can drip. And uh, I need to. Oh, sorry, maybe not this one. Yeah, this one we need to make a copy. And go back to the cell. And uh, now hit enter. Yeah, we have already uh, got the content of this page back. And here, as you can see here, password is this one. So we can make a note of this onto our notebook. So maybe this password is used by this username or use or another username. We can try every each one, and we can uh, first we can make a copy and uh, as H make a copy IP address. Uh, I need to remove always remove the cached keys and uh, run again. Yes, and uh, I need to copy the password. But uh, fail to make a collection or make a login. We need to try. Another user name, this one. Okay, and uh, we can copy the password. Okay, we successfully log in uh, to the virtual machine as soccer user, and we can uh, ID. And uh, list the content of his com home directory, and we get the user flag here. And also, I can tell you, for example, we can do some very basic emulation, but nothing found. I also we can check whether uh, this user can run some commands with sudo privilege. But uh, let me copy again. But nothing. And we can try to find uh, some commands like uh, with SUID. But nothing uh, we can get from this command. So also you, we can, uh, I have, uh, when I did this box or this virtual machine, uh, the first time I tried to upload the Nimpier's uh, shell script. This script can do the very uh, complete um, emulation to find out whether there is local uh, privilege exclusion vulnerability. But uh, I I fail to to get that one. But if you can check the the processes of the target by run the command, as you can see here, uh, there is one uh, process we need to. Pay attention. Uh, which uh, where is it? Where where where? Uh, I need to find it. It should be here. Let's scroll up. No. Where, where, where? Yeah, this one. The policy kit, pol kit k i t, pol kit b. And uh, if you can make a search on the internet, like uh, over the Google or Bing, you can know this command or this uh, daemon process has local privilege. Escalation vulnerability, and I have already got the exploit 
code for this availability to save time. I have already, uh, let's go back. Maybe, maybe we can open up another new tab. Mm, my Linux is now a bit dragging. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, and we can go to the our working directory. Dripping, and uh, as you can see, I have already uh, made a JIT column and got uh, this uh, rep uh, from the repository from the GitHub. And let's go to uh, this directory. And this is the Python uh, exploit code. And of course, this needed to be uploaded onto the target. This one uh, will be very easy. We can just uh, set up the HTTP server. And now we can go back to our shell and download this Python file. We can make a copy. And I think it should be here. We can go to the temp temporary directory and double get. And the kernel Linux IP address, which is 253. And the port number of the web of FTP, FTTP. And the paste in here. Okay, and we can cut the content of this file. Of course, now uh, I will not uh, go through all of the code uh, of, to save the time. But as you can see, this should be Python in Python 3. So we can run this uh, script. We can check whether the target has Python 3 by running which Python. And also Python 2 is also exist. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Any pen three, it's okay, it's fine. And we can run this exploit script. Yeah, and we wait for this to be completed, and then we can uh, get the loot shell. Yeah, we successfully successfully get the loot shell and go to the loot directory. And we also can check the ID. Now we are already loot user and can cut the loot flag here. Okay, that's all I'd like to demonstrate in this video. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.